That's what home video, that's how it's supposed to sound. That's how you know you're on vacation. Today we are looking at the Golden Gate Bridge and we'll probably have lunch and dinner at some point. There's not a guitar show today, there's not a peace show today. It's just a great time. It's a bit chilly. to uh, head over to the SoCal Guitar Show. Very excited for that. It's gonna be a fun show. Hopefully we sell some stuff. You already know I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff. If you watch these other videos, you know what's gonna happen. So just be prepared. It's gonna be a good time. We're finding our booth. Right here. Time to get the set up. What's our problems right now? Uh, too many guitars, not enough stands. I, maybe a good problem to have. Right now we're just figuring out what the best ones are to put out, and then if we need to acquire more stands. So yeah, it's coming along. Thank you so much, it means you will. Deal number one, sold the Martin D41. Today is going good. Um, just sold one guitar. Sold to Norm from Norm's Rare Guitars, so that's super, super cool. I literally read his book last year and uh, always watch his channel. You can probably tell from our channel, we've definitely taken some inspiration from stuff that he's done. And uh, yeah, just big appreciate everything he's done for all this stuff. And uh, so it's cool to do some business. Uh, but yeah, good start to the day. Booth is looking good. We got more guitars than we have room to put out, so that's a bit of a struggle. And uh, I'm sure once I start going, we'll get any more guitars. What are we looking at? This is. Oh my god. Why do I feel like I've seen this before? I feel like I've seen this on the internet. And here it is in person. Or somebody else did the same thing, which would be absolutely insane. Yeah, yeah that, that's a proper PRF. Yeah, that's a proper PRF. Yeah, that thing is gorgeous. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just 258 less balls. So it's nothing like birds. super crazy, but... Just some... Normal store stock kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Not two holy grail guitars right next to each other. For myself, 
of these three, I would do the gold top. Even though the price difference is insane, like if the money wasn't a factor. That's, that's a classy less problem. I mean, these are two, obviously, but like, if I was to do a burst, I would want like a 60, thin neck. Or the P9s, we love that. Yeah, we do. Take those too, that's what we want. Korea, we love to see it. You want to go through these guitars? I think Kaylee said everything that needs to be said for that one, uh, but we'll start with this next one. I used to have one of these back in the day. This is a Squire Classic Vibe, one of the original Classic Vibes. This one's from 2015. Burgundy Mist, matching head sock. This one somebody swapped the pickups on, so we'll have to rip it apart and figure out what that is. But uh, these are really, really cool. They're a lot of fun and the color's great, so. I say this a lot of stuff, but this is a good, like, lot of guitar for the money kind of guitar. But since this finish has become rare, it's become more money. So then, it's less guitar for the money. So, you have to do your own math. But it's a cool one at the end of the day. Next up, a flash foot of gear classic. It wouldn't be a guitar show if I didn't buy an Ibanez Tallman. And we've got a really cool Ibanez Tallman. This one's great because it's like, has the kind of Nashville Tele pickup setup, which is not typical for these. Uh, usually they'll either have Strat set up or they'll have a Tele set up or they'll have humbuckers. I've never seen with a Nashville Tele set up, so this is uh, a first. Uh, nothing super high end or anything, but it's got lock and tuners. Neck feels great, it's, just, it's a cool guitar. It's a treat. This is a Fender Classic Player Jaguar from 2008. And you know what that means, it's got the proper rosewood fretboard. This one needs some love. Hey. Uh, Kaylee's gonna get this on the bench soon and uh, make this look like a guitar. But this is a really good example of one of these. I believe this one is all original. And uh, yeah, these are really, really cool and you don't see them as much anymore. So really grateful to have found this one. Uh, Code Red Mountain Dew, it's a good year. Uh, it's a really nice color. Uh, it's a good finish, pretty rare to find. Um, yeah, we love it. We love to see it. We have another guitar over there that we've acquired from another dealer that I gotta go pick up. So, come along. The last one so far. Last one for right now. Yeah. If I get any more though, I might get some grief. From who? I thought you were the dead cheese. Well, <laughs> you think that, but it doesn't mean I'm a. Uh, Excluded from receiving grief. Yeah, how long we all, <laughs> trust me. Uh, we picked up this really cool Ibanez Artist. This one is a 2012. And we have a Japanese 1979, so this will be a nice kind of pair for that one. So, cool piece. Yeah, you can put it in there. Mark's World Famous Guitar Lounge, Tucson, Arizona. There we go, there it is. We have another great fresh find. This is uh, our booth name. I found this at another booth. Uh, but now I brought it to our booth, so this one costs zero dollars. We did much better than San Rafael's dealer day. Uh, I think I bought five guitars, sold one, but it was a, it was a pretty substantial one, and I bought some cool stuff. So overall, good day. Nothing like crazy, but definitely a good start to the show, and I think it's going to be a good weekend. And then we're going to head back to Florida. So today is public day one. Very excited to get into it and uh, hopefully we sell some cool stuff to the public. Uh, hopefully we'll find some cool guitars from the public to bring back to you guys. And uh, let's see what happens. Do you need a receipt or? Here we have a guitar that's a, it's a little older than me. This is a 1992 Fender Standard Stratocaster. It's black, rosewood fretboard, made in Mexico. It's a guitar. This is uh, it's a Strat, through and through. These are a lot of fun. Not, I, I'm doing it again. I said it was fun, and I say every guitar is fun, and I need some new adjectives. Great. It's a little on the...
medium to thin, I would say slim to medium, which is right where I like strats to be, so. Yeah, it's uh, it's got some scratches on, I swear. This is a, I don't know how to even word it, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought, but like. The just, noise. Yeah. It's a strat. Everyone talks about, Weezer has a song called Mexican Fender, this is the Mexican Fender they were talking about. That's all you need to know. Um, what are you looking for trade-wise? I'm going hair down today. Hair down today. Getting everything tuned up. It's a little chilly in the room. So things are kind of just in between different tunings. So I'm just getting um, ready to be demoed on the uh, show floor. All right, fresh find number two for the day. Um, someone was walking around selling some cymbals and we decided to check them out and Alex called me over. These are the Sabian Paragon Neil Perg uh, signature collection. These are really cool cymbals. It's an 11 piece set. Uh, a couple crashes, a couple chinas, a couple splashes, hats. Uh, and uh, a really nice ride. These are beautiful cymbals. Uh, they were in really good condition. Uh, we love to see them. These are made in Canada. They've got like the hand hammered centers for most of them. Really beautiful cymbals. Uh, I love these things. They resonate like more than any cymbal I've ever seen. Most of them are pretty thick, which is cool. I like thick cymbals. A lot of people don't, but uh, they got the signature in there. Super cool to find the 11 piece set. Yeah, fresh find number two. I think you're right on. We got the GFX 25. We've got the FX 25B. And then we've got an older DOD 440. Very, very cool acoustic here. This is a vintage guild. This is a G37 from 1972. Let's take a look. This one's maple, so some people are gonna love it, some people not so much. I personally love maple acoustics. They're really bright and full, and I enjoy them. Uh, but really, really gorgeous uh, vintage guild. Sounds really good. Great player. It's a, this one's in tune, which that's not normal for these videos. Very shreddy. Fresh find. We've got this Squire Stage Master with some humbuckers and blue, lock and tremolo system. Not very common guitars, you don't see these, so. It was definitely a cool one to find. This one is from 1999, so 24 years old now. Fresh find here, this is a really interesting one off guitar. This one is a Fender 1960 reissue custom shop relic strat made by Fred Stewart between 93 and 94. Uh, they were just telling me this was made for, for Gene Parsons from the Birds. Really cool looking neck, and uh, they were telling me the fretboard is allegedly Brazilian rosewood, which is really, really cool. I wish I had the documentation for that. I mean, it definitely looks right, but uh, really, really cool. Fantastic piece and very happy to have just acquired. Fresh Vine, 1999 Fender CIJ Paisley Strap. from Dickies. Didn't know that that existed until today. Also have this strap with it and you even get you even get the, the trem arm and the case candy and it's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. Good time. I saw another Paisley telly or Paisley strap. This one's a little bit different. This one's more this one's like a parts build. Yeah. But I thought we were about to find two in one day, which would be very on brand for us. Look at this. This is what happens when you have too much time on your hands. <laughs> very cool, I well. Really nice check. -in. This is not a fresh find, they're not buying this. Yeah, we got a bunch of microphones, kind of some obscure stuff, but uh, we got this EV666 and then an EV664. Uh, both really nice mics. This is really rare and pretty high end too. This one also rare, but not as rare. And then we got a set of these AKG mics, and they are the SE5E10s with the CE1 capsules matching set, which is cool. 
I'm gonna definitely try these out before we uh, sell them because they, they could be something interesting. We've got this vintage Sure SM58 made in the US that came with the wrong grill, so we'll replace that. Looks like it's also been like painted this gloss black because usually you see a matte black. Uh, but cool older mic that I know a lot of people are after, so that's fun. And then we've got this pair of Sony condenser mics in the bags. I'll just open one of them because they're both the same. And there's ECM 22P. So yeah, cool mics. There's none available that I could find right now that work. So saying everything's good with these after we test them out, these will, these will be the only working ones on the market. So nice stereo pair. Public day one complete. Bought some stuff, I sold some stuff. I'm leaving. Oh, no. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. See you later. I don't know if any of this is making the vlog. <laughs> I've been recording the whole time. <laughs> oh, I kept my mouth shut. It is public day two of the Costa Mesa Guitar Show. It is the last day of the Guitar Show, and it is the last day uh, for me, Thomas, and Kaylee of this trip. So hopefully it's a good one. I've already got a couple deals that may or may not be happening, so should be a good day. But we'll see what happens. How's the coffee? Got an early morning fresh find. We got the double feature. We got this really nice Alvarez. Look at that finish. Uh, this one is an AP66E SHB. That's way too long of a model name, but it looks nice. It plays nice, and it's still got the tags on it. Uh, very affordable guitar, but really cool guitar. And then we also got this Blue Ridge, another small guitar, but nonetheless. Very cool piece. Uh, this one is the BR41. So, yeah, cool set of guitars to start the morning off. Another early morning fresh find. We got this octave multiplexer from Electro Harmonics. Looks like this would be a new reissue, but this is actually an original vintage one that's in really, really nice shape. Uh, these pedals aren't too common on their own, but I haven't seen one that's like this clean, so I'm sure this one's gonna go quick. This is a, I believe it's a 1989 Epiphone Les Paul Custom. You got the open book headstock. And it's like a smaller open book headstock, which is cool. Kayla's gonna make it look great and play great. And it's gonna be great. And you'll see it on the internet soon. Also got an Ibanez Prestige, pretty cool one that I had not seen before. So let's check this out. This is an actual fresh find. Made in Japan, you know, you know about it. Really cool finish, I've never seen this, so really excited to dig into this one and see exactly what we're looking at, because it's not something I'm familiar with, but very rad guitar, and yeah. And that's a Boss ME70, pretty, pretty standard, like off-the-shelf multi-effects, but we get them all the time and they always sell, so I'm sure somebody is in the market for one, and if you are, there's one. Uh, also got some really like affordable pedals. We got this Marshall foot switch. Not sure what amp it's for. I'm sure it works with a bunch of them. Um, we got the Donner Twin Series. It's got the manual. It's got all the stuff. Got this Joyo Wah. Pretty standard Wah pedal. And then of course, the star of the show, the Line 6 Pod XT. Very iconic pedal. Something that everyone is in the market for. It's relic. <laughs> and in proper Line 6 fashion, it has the like the non-original power adapter, which is what you want to see. This probably goes to a router or something. We are nearing the end, but it is not over yet. We have another about hour and 15 minutes. I would say today is going okay. We have definitely acquired some cool stuff, which is great. Sold a couple things, which is also cool. But uh, overall, it's been a little bit slower as it usually is on Sunday. So. I would say about what I expected. If, if we do a couple more cool deals, then I would say it'd be a, a great day. There's a couple of trades that people are interested in. Maybe we'll find a couple more guitars for a good price. Maybe we'll sell a couple more things. Somebody's interested in trading for that. A really nice Les Paul, so that could be cool. 
but we'll see what happens. Another fresh find, potentially the last one of the show, but hopefully not, we'll see what happens. We still got 24 minutes, so anything is possible. We have a nice set here. This is a Fender Cabernita Telecaster. Really, really cool candy apple red, which is a pretty rare color for this, and these are rare guitars on their own. Really, really clean, very cool. You think that's it, but it's not. Another Cabernita Tele with humbuckers, but this one's a thin line with the F-hole, so. Two cool finds, original gig bags, both all original, super, super clean. Hard to find guitars. I think a lot of people will probably look at this as not a great show as far as like sales and stuff, um, but I think because of that, we got to buy a lot of really cool stuff that maybe we wouldn't have had to otherwise. So we definitely made the best of it. Not even to say it was a bad show, I think we, we did move a good bit of stuff and got a bunch of new stuff, so for us, I think we did really, really great. We honestly did better in San Francisco, even though it was a smaller show, we kind of had more of the market there. So um, overall, good. I would give it like a seven, 7.5. Not the best show, but definitely uh, happy we did it. So, got some cool stuff to bring to you guys online and we'll be doing some cool videos on it and you'll see it all in the shop very, very soon. All right, Damien, how's it going out here so far? It's going, we're starting to pack. Gonna get these fools to the airport. And then we got a long drive ahead of us. I just want more video of him because he's never he's never in front of never the camera. Never in the camera, yeah. Only during the pack. Exactly. This is the most extreme game of Tetris that Thomas and I have probably ever played in our lives. Tetris I. How are you feeling about Thomas? Um, I was feeling worse about it. I'm feeling better about it now, to be honest. That's good. That doesn't mean it's going to work, but no. I don't think it's going to work if you still have the skips in. We have the, uh, so we're going to try. Somebody bought too many guitars. I think if we got one more guitar, it would have been bad. I yeah, think I think one more guitar was I think we were about five too many. Well, no, but we were here. I will say that no, every time we think we couldn't have got another one, but statistically speaking, we must have been able to because I could have stopped earlier and we probably still would have run in the same issue. So I have, um, I just want to say I'm, I'm very, uh, very stoked. I think we did good on these two shows. I think we got some cool stuff. I think I annoyed everyone with how much stuff I got, but we all, I, it's like you knew what was going to happen. This is the fourth vlog. The same thing happens every time. This isn't the end of this video. Though. Oh wait, that was the outro. You use Ellie. We're gonna pack all this stuff up and then we're gonna get on a plane and then we're gonna go right into our work week. We can plan ahead and do like a cool ship into the airport. What do we know? I've changed teams. I'm now on team lavish lunch or lavish dinner. See how it lavish travel. See how the other side lunch? Yeah. Team lavish. So crunch the numbers, seeing how we did. The rest of the crew is driving to Florida. They're probably still in California. Kaylee has a beer as big as her head. We'll do the Orlando Guitar Show. They're gonna fly to Japan.